guys, what's up? It's Nika. I'm oh wait, we should do my boo high. Okay. Okay. What's up? It's Nika and my little sister, Lauren. <laughs> we are doing a Filipino snack haul because we did the Korean snack haul and a lot of you guys enjoyed watching that. So why not do a Filipino one? Because embracing our heritage, why not, right? We're in the Philippines! We bought a bunch of Filipino snacks and we're going to try it for you guys. So um, you guys recommended them, so here we go. By the way, my mom is right here. She is uh, camera shy. Anyways, let's get into the video. This is the first snack. It is a donut shaped chocolate. My mom actually was the one who grabbed this, so it's donut shaped chocolate. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, interesting. Go ahead, grab one. Oh, it smells, oh, it smells good. It's like a strawberry, a vanilla, oh, you can't see it. A strawberry, vanilla, and a chocolate. Cheers! That tastes familiar. It tastes like the cheese rings, but mm. not cheese. Tastes like a corn But like snack. sugar. Yeah! It tastes like a... It doesn't taste like a donut, though. <laughs> I mean, it has a salty and sweet flavor to it, which I appreciate. Oh, we should rate this. One being the worst, five being the best. Three, two, one. Two. Four. Three, five. Really? Hmm. I actually quite like this. Okay, next. So this next snack, um, at Ari Zim recommended, she said the Cremos. So um, honestly, this looks like an Oreo to me. I'm probably gonna compare it to Oreo, I'm not gonna lie. So I might be very, very biased about this. Oh, okay. Mine is broken. Mm. It's because we're comparing it to an Oreo. If it wasn't packaged like an Oreo, I would totally not compare it to an Oreo because it is. I'm comparing it to an Oreo. It's the color of it too. Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah. I mean, it's good. I like if it, it more. If it was like a party giveaway, I'd eat it. Oh. <laughs> okay. What do you guys rate this? Three, two, one. One. Two. Two point five. <laughs> Anyways, next. All right. So the next item is recommended by Clarice. Clarice recommended this oh. one. It's called Pillows, and it says, it says it's an ube-filled <laughs> cracker. They have two different flavors, chocolate and ube, but we already had something that was like chocolatey in this batch, so we decided to go with ube. Keep in mind, my sister's a little biased because she doesn't like ube, so. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's remind, it is shaped like a pillow. What pill? what? Oh shoot, I was about to eat it. <laughs> Oh, it has a filling. There's actual ube filling in it. Mm. That's actually pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Do you like it? Wow, she likes it and she doesn't even like ube. And it has vitamin A. So when you bite it, it's like crunchy, um, kind of salty. Coconut. But then... There's no salt. So it's like a coconut chip. It's like the... What are they called? Um, the chocolate, chocolate. Yum, yum. <laughs> Do you know? Okay, well, my mom keeps eating it, so we're gonna move on. Three, two, one, four, three. All right, okay, so this next item is actually recommended by my mom. It is called Royal. True and Orange. You have to say Royal True Orange. Royal True Orange. What about with B false vitamins? But, um. <laughs> it literally looks like a Fanta drink. So, again, we might be biased because it looks like Fanta. God! One, two, three. It's busy. It tastes like orange soda. It has like a sweet aftertaste. It's not that strong for a soda. It's um, basically orange soda. Time to rate the Fanta, or fake Fanta, aka Royal with True. Oh, royal true orange. False orange. Three, two, one. Five. Five. Five, really? You I gave like your royal. five to this? There's no royal anywhere you know, you else in the world. You can't keep doing fives. So the next item is Tommy. And this one is recommended by Castro Ames. Thank you so much, Castro, at Castro Ames, for recommending this. 
it basically is a uh, super sweet corn chip. We personally were talking about it. I've had chippy before, so we were thinking it might taste like chippy. Either way, we love chippy, so if it tastes like chippy, that's cool. Or whatever. Open it the Filipino way. Use your teeth. You taught us not to. There. Oh my god! Why? Ooh. Oh my god, it smells like um, chichapop. Chichapop. <laughs> it smells like chichapop. We discovered this other snack um, here in the Philippines. Oh my god, it was so good. It it's was like, a 5 out of 5. It was like a 10 out of 5, honestly. Tell me when you're going to do the 10 out of 5. <laughs> Mm, lit. Okay, so it's like a chichapop, but in corn. Chip no, in chip yeah. form. Mixed with chippy. Oh my god, that's really good, actually. Oh my god, it tastes like a Frito, but like no, like a, a sweet, sweet, a sweet Frito. Frito. Oh my god, we have to go back for more of this. It's this twenty so cents. Lit. Oh my god, twenty cents for this bag, you guys. It's so good, I don't want to talk. I just want to keep eating it. <laughs> okay, Mom, you are like such a hog. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect with royal. <laughs> Three, two, one, time. time. Four. All right, so this next item is recommended by at Jamie Me Lie. I hope I'm saying that right. She recommended, oh, okay. <laughs> she recommended the Mick Mick sweetened cocoa or taco <coughs> powder. And this was literally like, it comes in like a huge pack. It's so cute because it comes with like straws and um, I don't know how we're supposed to, do we drink this or how does oh, this work? Oh, maybe with milk. Wait, oh, really? You have to drink it with milk? I don't know. Expiration date is April 24, 2018. Oh. oh. oh I'm sorry. I think you have to go tak tak it before you open it. Go. You do it first. I'm scared. <laughs> How much did you drink? <laughs> I think it's supposed to be chocolate milk. I don't know if we're doing this right. Yeah, we're doing it right. Like I'm pretty sure we pour a glass <laughs> of milk, pour this in, and then stir it with this, and then drink it off with a straw. That might make more sense. Because this is literally powder. It's, this is very interesting. Hopefully we're doing this right. But let's rate it. Three, two, one. Zero. Zero. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go back down to one. I just don't know if we did this right. I thought it was gonna be like Milo because Milo is my favorite. It's like a powder that has like chocolate. It's chocolate powder basically, and it's the same thing. This is a one. This is a one. Like you don't need okay. the straw. Yeah, you don't need the straw. That's kind of not necessary. This last one is recommended by Check Yes Celine, and she recommended the crispy patata baked potato flavor chips or something. Um, it's by the brand Uishi. It was like super excited to try this because it, the name is so cute. Crispy pata ta. Like get it? Crispy pata. I don't think that's no, a joke. No, patata is Filipino for potatoes. Potato. That's a joke. Oh. Crispy pata is pig too. I know, I thought it was gonna taste like a pig. What? It's like, like potato. potato. Crispy potato flavor. Crispy pata ta. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It smells like a baked potato. No, it smells like vinegar, actually. Here. One, two, two three. three. We ended, we ended mm. on a good note. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Oh, it has the texture of clover chips. So it's like a clover chip, essentially. But clover chips have cheese on it. But this one is supposed to taste like a baked potato. Patata. Mm. Three. Two, one, ten! Four. Five. Wait, really? I actually really like them. There's nothing really special about them. I read it. Oh my god. Okay, these are mine. They're savage. No, they're good. It's just there's nothing special. special. Mom. I totally forgot to say, all these snacks cost like a dollar seventy-five for everything. Literally every single thing we ate. Like all together. All together. 
Because we were like, we, we came into the store thinking, okay, we'll probably spend like $10. We got to the register and the lady was like $1.75. Which, no, she, well, she no. didn't say that. She's like, she said it in pesos, but I don't know what that is. Anyways, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. How do you say bye in Filipino, Mom? Paalam. What? Huh? Paalam. Paalam. <laughs> One second. Please don't come back. Please don't come back. Paalam, which means goodbye in Filipino. We'll see you guys later.